rubber bellu surface should be like this rubber bellu you can see surface finish of this bellu very good smooth surface finish without any crack without any hole and without any surface pitting also rubber bellu should have flexibility like this this rubber bellu is very good and perfect after installing this type of rubber bellu on pipeline it looks like this stretcher plates are on outside of metallic flange and tie rod nuts are kept tight with lock nut this rubber bellu is perfect and installation is also correct now you can see new rubber bellu installed at pump suction and discharge installation is little bit wrong stretcher plates have been mounted inside the bellu but stretcher plates should be mounted outside the metallic flanges now you can see surface finish of this bellu lot of small pitting holes are there and at few location crack is also there now you can see discharge side bellu now you can see several small small pitting holes on the bellu surfaces also you can see crack at bellu arch starting area now see the bellu surface finish at bottom surface area now you can see surface condition of the bellow at this point it appears that this bellow is not made using good quality neoprene rubber or nitrile rubber or epdm rubber maybe vendor has used very bad quality rubber and it appears that the bello is not flexible it is very hard This is another defective rubber bellow installed on this pipeline. Now the bellow has been removed from pipeline and you can see surface defects of this bellow. So while purchasing rubber bellow specification of the bellow is not sufficient. We should thoroughly inspect rubber bellows. otherwise some vendor will supply this type of defective or used rubber bellow after few months this type of bellow will fail and leakage will be there so we should always purchase rubber bellows having this type of surface quality and having this type of good flexibility